Prince Harry is following in the footsteps of Princess Diana in his dedication towards helping others and those who are in need according to Gary Marwick, one of the UK's most eminent palm readers. Mr Marwick, who claims to have read over 20,000 palms during a 20-year career, adds that according to his reading, the prince possesses physical courage and is an adventurer. He told Express.co.uk, Harry follows in his mother's footsteps. Throughout Harry's life he will always be dedicated towards helping others and those who are in need, both individually and in groups. His hand shows, as do some of the other royals' hands, that Harry may also hold back his emotions at times, but he will give much to others. Like his mother, Prince Harry is well known for his charitable activities, which have included founding the St. Charity in 2006 to help children suffering from HIV-AIDS and launching the Invictus Games for injured service personnel. Princess Diana was a prominent campaigner on behalf of victims of HIV-AIDS, landmines and cancer. However, according to Mr. Marwick, his mother also left a more physical mark on the prince. He explains, on Harry's right hand there is a mark or scar showing, where it indicates that something significant happened and changed his life at an early age. This was most likely the death of his mother. Princess Diana was killed in a Paris car crash on August 31, 1997, when Prince Harry was just 12 years old. Mr. Marwick went on to detect a number of other personality traits from Prince Harry's palm. He said, Harry's hand shows that he has physical courage, and possibly a little aggression at times. It shows that even though he will always return home, Harry can easily spend time away from home in other countries as an adventurer. By contrast, his elder brother Prince William will always appreciate being home after returning from his travels. Prince Harry served two tours of Afghanistan, in 2007-8 and 2012, although the first was cut short after it was reported by foreign media. He was the first royal to serve in a conflict zone since Prince Andrew during the Falklands War. Mr Marwick also believes he can determine key points in the prince's life from his palms. He explains, on Harry's hands, it shows he really became independent in his late twenties, possibly around the age of 28 years old. This was perhaps an emotional time for him with making decisions in his life regarding family, friends and relationships. There will be a significant change, which will affect Harry's life, which will take place in his late forties. Mr. Marwick and a third-generation palm reader, following the path set by his mother and grandfather. As well as his consultancy work he has made numerous media appearances, including on Sky TV and BBC Radio 4. Pregnant Meghan Markle was absent from the morning engagement on day six of the Duke and Duchess's royal tour of Oceania following a hectic five days. The Duchess of Sussex was due to join Prince Harry to support the Invictus Games cyclists but decided to cut back on her duties after a jam-packed start to the tour. A royal aide said, she's feeling fine, but resting. The royal couple are six days into their tour of Oceania which will see them visit Australia, New Zealand. Fiji, and Tonga. The aide added, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will attend the cycling as scheduled this morning, and the Duchess will join him for this afternoon's engagements. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. The pregnant Duchess, who announced she will be having a baby last week, had a late night on Saturday after the Invictus Games opening ceremony started later than expected due to weather. Meghan is now expected to miss a series of events over the remainder of the tour. A source said they just want to pace her as both she and Prince Harry have a lot of events left. Prince Harry told competitors that Meghan is resting back at home during his morning event. Being pregnant takes its toll he added. However. The Duke and Duchess will attend a reception held by the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison later today. Meghan is now expected to skip some of the events during the couple's planned visit to Fraser Island on Monday. The couple were expected to visit the island's rainforests, 
attend a welcome to country smoking ceremony with the traditional owners of Kagari, the Butchola people and the Premier of Queensland, visit one of the island's lakes. The pair will then travel to Kingfisher Bay by boat. Kensington Palace is yet to announce whether any engagements after day 6 and 7 of the tour will be changed. Meghan is still expected to travel with Harry to Fiji and Tonga but it is possible there may be some adjustments to her program there as well. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are on day 6 of their first royal tour as a married couple. Yesterday they received an enthusiastic welcome at the delayed opening ceremony of the fourth Invictus Games, Harry's flagship sporting event for injured or sick army veterans. Today the newlyweds, who are expecting their first child, were expected to attend the first day of the Invictus Games competition, created by the Duke of Sussex, in which more than 500 competitors from 18 countries will compete. But only Prince Harry will make an appearance at the official planned engagements as Kensington Palace have said Meghan's schedule has been cut back following a busy program. Highlights from today's events include road cycling time trials, which kick off at 9.30am local time, 12.30am BST. The cycling will be followed by the sailing at 11am local time, 1am BST. The final major event of the day will be the Road Cycling Criterium, at 1.30 p.m. local time, 3.30 am BST. The Duke of Sussex has arrived at the Botanic Gardens in Sydney to meet Invictus competitors and staff. He has not been joined by Meghan as her schedule has been cut back following a busy program. Kensington Palace said, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. Cindy Harbour provides a spectacular backdrop for the Invictus Games debut of sailing. Boats will sail from the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia at Rushcutters Bay to Farm Cove. Meghan and Harry are expected to be watching the event as it makes it Invictus Games debut. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be at Royal Botanic Gardens to cheer on the Invictus Cindy in cycling. The parents-to-be will then enjoy a slap-up lunch with the Australian Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. Invictus family and friends will also join the special luncheon. Harry and Meghan will then watch the sailing competition, which kicks off at 1 a.m. BST. They will then attend a private Invictus Games reception at Governor House. Twitter user Nick Steiner penned, at Invictus Games, so inspiring and emotional. And good to show the kids what real grit looks like. We're in awe. Another said, Gary Robinson smashing it at the Invictus Games. Meanwhile, Aussie politician Gladys Berejiklian wrote, at the Royal Botanic Gardens to watch the start of the Invictus Games cycling. All the best to all of the amazing athletes competing. You are an inspiration. Prince Harry launched the event with a very personal speech at the Sydney Opera House forecourt. The father-to-be gushed about the couple's exciting baby news, which was announced hours after he and wife Meghan landed in Australia earlier in the week. He said to huge applause, I have been so proud to be able to introduce my wife to you and we have been so happy to be able to celebrate the personal joy of our newest addition with you all. The Games is the biggest highlight of the Royal Tour for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The excitement of the tour has been added to by the news of Meghan's pregnancy as eager royal fans begin to notice traces of a baby bump. Prince Harry and wife Meghan will begin the first day of the Invictus Games Cindy by attending the cycling competition at the Royal Botanic Garden. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will watch one of the road bike time trials before meeting competitors and team staff in the competition hub. The Royal Couple will also present the gold, silver and bronze medals at the event. After the cycling, the pair will head to the pavilion for the official reception hosted by Prime Minister Scott Morrison. There they will meet representatives from veteran support groups and mental well-being organizations. Later in the afternoon, the Duke and Duchess will watch the Invictus Games sailing final from a family and friends boat in Farm Cove. Tonight, the couple will attend a private reception for the Invictus Games Foundation at Government House. 
The event test speed and skill as key strengths come to the fore on the picturesque Royal Botanic Garden course where cyclists try to beat the clock and each other. Fans in the crowd are waving Union Jack flags as the competitors fly past. Harry and Meghan are expected to join the onlookers in spurring the challengers on.